Let's take a look at a few examples concerning weight. Now remember that one kilo is 1000 grams. So kilos to grams, we're multiplying by 1000. Grams to kilos, we are dividing by 1000. So first question, we're converting kilos to grams. So therefore the calculation is 3.82 multiplied by 1000. Um, so what we're gonna be doing is making this number bigger. So, and because we're multiplying by 1000, we are going to be moving the decimal point three positions and it's going to be moving to the right because we want to make the number bigger. So I'm going to stick some zeros on the end. Now it's easy for me to move the decimal point one, two, three places. So the answer is 3820.0000. But hopefully you can appreciate that the zeros there are not doing anything useful. So the answer is 3820 grams. Here we're going from grams to kilos. So therefore we are dividing by 1000, so 540 divided by 1000. Now when we're dividing by 1000, we're moving the decimal point three positions. Now there is no decimal point here, so I'm gonna create one, 540 is 540.0. And we're gonna make this number smaller, so the decimal point is gonna be moving to the left. So to make that a little bit easier visually, I'm gonna put a few zeros in, one, two, three, so the answer is 000 0.5400 and hopefully you can appreciate that the two zeros on the end are not serving a purpose and the first two zeros here aren't doing anything useful either. So the answer is 0 0.54 kg. So a supermarket sells plastic bags which um, can hold a maximum of 15 kilos and the baker wants to buy as many 350 gram bags as possible. So we want to know how many 350 grams go into 15 kilos. Now the issue here is we have kilos and we have grams. We have a discrepancy with the weight units. So either we can convert the 350 into kilos or we can convert the 15 kilos into grams. Now I would prefer to convert kilos into grams because we know that one kilo is 1000 grams. And when we go kilos to grams, we are multiplying by 1000 Whereas if we go grams to kilos, we're dividing by 1,000. So just think, what would you prefer to do? Would you rather multiply 15 by 1,000 or divide 350 by 1,000? So multiplying is generally easier than division and multiplying by 1,000 is really easy. You're just sticking on three zeros when it's a whole number. Whereas if we divide 350 by 1,000, we'll, we're gonna get a decimal answer, which is not gonna be very nice. Although if you've got a calculator, it really, doesn't matter what you do. But for me, it's a lot easier if I just do 15 times 1000, which is 15,000 grams. So the we've now got a question which says the plastic bag can hold a maximum limit of 15,000 grams. And if the baker wants to put in 350 gram bags, so how many 350s go into 15,000? So therefore it's 15,000 divided by 300 and 50 so we just need to stick that into the calculator and we get an answer of 42.85 so um, now we've got a bit of a funny decimal answer here. now obviously 42.8 is closer to 43 than 42 but here we are going to round down to 42 bags because that is that 42 bags is going to be less than the maximum weight limit, whereas 43 bags will put us just slightly over the limit, which might mean that the bag splits. So 42 is the final answer here.